There are many people, both in real life and on the internet, who say that sex work is real work. However, they are wrong about this for multiple reasons. First of all, some of these sex positive people may say that since one can get paid for being a prostitute and they have to complete a task for it, then it's real work. Like having to change into a revealing outfit for instance. Such work. This is terrible logic because with it, working in the mafia is also real work as they also get paid for completing tasks, most of the time requiring much more work than being a harlot. Very few call what organized gangs do real work because what they do is immoral and does not benefit society in any way. It harms society. The same can be said about sex work. And that brings us to the actual um, part of the argument which is immorality. What makes sex work immoral is that something meaningful for the human species is reduced to only the feeling of pleasure it creates, a monetary exchange. People who view sex work as a legitimate career generally claim that the only thing that makes their work considered immoral is religion and cultural taboos, but what they forget to account for is that there are reasons for these taboos in culture and religion. Every living thing has a purpose to reproduce, including humans. Even a biologist will tell you this. This is why when humans have sex, it creates heavy spikes in dopamine. In modern society, people like to make themselves take in a lot of dopamine, and it is not limited to just sex work. In modern society, food has also been reduced to only the pleasure it creates. And some people, such as Nikocado Avocado, make a living off eating an abundance of unhealthy food without exercising. Few would call what he does real work. And we can also see that something important and meaningful to the human species, food, is being reduced to just its dopamine release. So like what Nikocado Avocado does, sex work is not considered work because of it being effortless. Unlike working in the mafia, which at least requires some effort, sex work requires pretty much no effort. Basically, a woman in her 20s who lacked a present father figure during her childhood posts revealing photos or videos of herself onto the internet. This could be on TikTok, where 11-year-old boys can see it, or Cornhub, where 11-year-old boys can also see it. Whatever specific type of prostitution these sex workers engage in, the only work they are performing is being used by horny men who only see them as objects of pleasure. If that is real work, then whichever foods Nikocado Avocado is eating are engaging in real work too because the foods are being used for dopamine spikes by Mr. Avocado. What pro-sex work people regard as fake work is being a landlord for some reason. Like, you, I don't get why that comparison exists, but that's something people use, at least I've seen it on the internet. And I don't think this is a fair comparison at all. Unlike being a whore on the internet, at least landlords provide a meaningful service, that being housing. Without landlords, everybody would have to buy, and landlords providing a place to rent provides a cheaper option. While there exists many mean landlords, there also exists many nice landlords like my father. Anyways, whether it be the effortlessness, the reduction of a meaningful thing to a sensation of pleasure, or immorality, Sex work is not real work, and anybody who thinks so is incorrect. Enjoy your day, people, and bye.